hello and welcome once again to my youtube channel today we are going to be looking at futures trading i'm going to be explaining futures trading and why people think futures trading is risky and then also i'm going to be showing us how to get started on futures trading on bybit exchange okay bybit is an exchange that provides both sports and futures trading and uh Quickly, I'm going to be explaining what futures trading is all about. Now, futures trading is all about buying or selling a commodity in a future price. Now, let's say BTC, for instance, is selling at 21,000. So, I want to buy BTC at 21,000 now and saying, okay, I'm taking profit in the future. Let's say I'm buying, let me not use BTC, let me say general commodity. Let me take, for instance, um, what do I use? Um, let's say um a bag of rice okay let me use a bag of rice let's say a bag of rice is 20 dollars now i'm not saying that is the price it's an assumption and i'm trying to make an illustration okay so you're saying 20 dollars now for a bag of rice and you're coming to buy 10 bars which is 200 dollars and you're saying you're going into a contract with the supplier that i'm buying these 20 bags by or uh, december okay this this february december you're buying it at 200 dollars okay now the supplier is going to sell believing that by december the price may be 150 so it's going to make 50 dollars profit okay so you you're buying hoping that it's going to get to 300 dollars for 10 bucks okay so now if by december the price is um three hundred dollars you're paying two hundred dollars to get ten bucks and make you hundred dollar profit but if the price comes down to 150 you're still going to pay 200 because you went into a contract right you made a future contract and you signed all right so that's what future is all about so coming down to cryptocurrency and trading on exchange futures now you either buying which is long or you're selling which is short and you're saying i'm going into this contract if uh in future the price is higher you're you're making profit because you went long you're going to pay this amount and take your profit but if it's lower you're going to lose money okay so now BTC is um, consolidating around the uh, 21,700, right? It's ranging within that region. And you're saying, okay, I want to go into a futures contract. So I want to go long, all right? So you want to go long that BTC is going to go higher. Now, if it does, you're making profit. If it doesn't, you're losing money. Now, if you say, okay, BTC is going to dump and you want to go short, then if it shorts, you're making profits this is our shorts and this is our long all right so if it doesn't if it if it dumps if it sells you're making money if it buys you're losing money so why do people say future trading uh, or some persons say future trading is you know is risky is because you can make more money in a very short um interval and you can also lose so much money in the same interval and this happens a lot when uh as a trader you don't have enough knowledge even if you don't have the knowledge if you have bad risk management and a very poor trade management you're definitely in for you know losing streaks okay so i'm going to uh, fund this and show us how to get started uh just to explain futures interface here we have a uh, the trades we are the trades but um here we have the charts and uh, also we have um, our trades next to it okay <clears throat> and here we have where your available balance shows that's where you can find your available balance and uh, here we have the market order and the limit order the market order helps you to execute a trade at the market price why the limit order for instance you know that it's going to come down to 21,700. so you're going to take a limit order a limit order and uh, say okay i'm taking this trade at 21,700. 
so at 21700 you're saying this trade should either long or short now i'm not going to talk so much on this because i have a video already on market orders and uh, what have you stop losses and take profits so i'll just drop the link to that video uh, down on the description box and i hope you do well to watch it to understand okay but what i have not explained in my videos is leverage and how they work so uh but i would explain that after i have funded this account in this video yes i would you know give a proper explanation on how the leverage works but it's not that leverage gives you higher purchasing power it's more like um i think in physics yeah we call that mechanical advantage using very little efforts to do a, a large amount of work right so leverage helps you to purchase or higher contracts than your balance okay you may have ten dollars and with a hundred leverage 100x leverage you're going to be buying a contract of a thousand dollars that is wow all right that is wow a thousand dollars contract with your ten dollars okay now the advantage here is that you're going to make in more money right more money but that also means you're going to be losing more money if it doesn't go the way you plan so let's quickly go to how to fund yeah i did a video about that already so i'll move this guy no not you okay yes so um going to move it here and then you go straight to your assets right there are two ways to fund your buy bit you can go through assets or or you can go to home right so from home uh you're going to see um buy crypto or deposit crypto okay you have it here uh we have deposits and then we have buy crypto so you could either go to deposits and then choose the coin you want to deposit and then you go ahead or you can use buy crypto uh you can use a uh, buy in one minute and then you choose the amount you want to buy i think uh, they offer 30 20 dollars minimum and this is the price for 20 dollars and you're buying nests so i'm going to make a bank transfer to uh, this person so the offer price is based on their p2p p2p means pair to pair and your purchase will be processed through pair to pair trading after you proceed you've confirmed your proceeds so i'm going to click uh confirm and uh, i have 15 minutes to make payments and uh, this is the amount i am paying and then i'm going to check the details of the person i'm going to pay to and then uh, I'll check counterparty details. The asset seller has been locked and the rest of it, meaning he cannot decide to change his mind from selling and his identity is verified by the community. And then I can communicate with him and the rest of it. And then I can go to payment and complete uh, my payment. So if I'm cool with this, I'm going to click on pay now. Or cancel order so I'm, I'm i'm cool with this so i'm going to click on uh this and then this is the person's account details so i am going to um i'm going to move over to my um my my mobile app and then make the transaction and that will be it So I haven't um, deposited into my uh, Bybit of $20 using a Bybit P2P. Uh, it's going to show up in my funding. Okay, so to transfer it from funding to um, derivatives, 
which is where I want it, which is where I want it, so that I can trade the uh, futures. So all I need to do is to click on the twenty dollars on the the funding account, and uh, the next thing will be to transfer. The next thing will be to transfer. So you can see transfer just beside deposit. So I'm going to click on transfer. And I'll be given an option. Here you see derivatives. Uh, if you click the drop down, you see in account, sports, and the rest. But I want it here. So I'll click on BTC and switch to USDT. And you can see the coin there is showing USDT. Then I'll click on maximum and confirm. So the money is going to be transferred to my futures account. So uh, I will come to derivatives and um, we have 20 dollars funded here so i said i'm going to explain leverage so i needed money you need to explain leverage so uh this is how leverage works we have um 100 leverage here so i'm going to take it down to one one x so we can see how it works so one x now i want to buy or sell btc so replace your same quantity I hope this doesn't shut down on me again. Okay. So here I'm seeing quantity. I talked about limit orders. So here I'm seeing quantity. And note we have isolated here, not cross. Isolated means if I'm going in for a, a buy, a long or a short with $10, it means if the trade should go against me, only that $10 is at risk. Okay. But if I'm using cross, it means I'm saying even if this ten dollar uh, is being liquidated, they should cross over into the main available balance here, which is what I have here. They can take from here, and I can have minus twelve, minus thirteen till everything in the account is liquidated. So you are advised for a beginner or not just beginners, preference actually, just know what uh, the advantages or what can happen. Sometimes you can use isolated, you're liquidated, and then the market moves in your favor. But already you have been taken out. But cross gives you um enough to hold a particular position. But if it keeps going against you, you may lose everything. Okay. So I was talking about the quantity um here. Okay, so I'm using quantity to explain leverage. So watch closely. These are this slide below quantity now when i take it to um when i take it to let me use market so that we can pick something so when i switch it say i want to buy now and i'm taking quantity of btc with one x i'm not having anything here uh it's supposed to give me an approximate of 20. okay let me change um to let me use matic i think is my network isolated and one x okay quantity yeah so we we'll have something now so quantity now you see that at um at um hundred percent i'm using hundred percent of my account I'm purchasing 19 point um I'm purchasing 16 matic at 19 let me say approximately 20 dollars okay at 1x now look at what happens when I increase this to 10x uh 10x like I said it helps you it gives you an advantage to buy or sell more positions okay so this is how much I'm buying. Before it was just 16. Now I'm buying 116 Matic 
at 204 let me use this so we can understand better at 1x i, was, I could buy just 16 matic at uh, approximately 20 dollars but here now you can see i have a hundred i'm buying more still with the same 20 dollars and i have a uh, a value worth 204 dollars okay so i'll be making more profit with more um so if i go to with more leverage and also be losing more with more leverage so as 50x now let's see how many matic i'll be buying as 50x wow so as 50 as i'm making approximately a buy or sell uh, of um 980 dollars with just 20 dollars you see the beauty of um of leverage so what this means now is that if matic should make a move you know you should make a 10 percent move at this leverage 10 percent of 980 10 percent of 980 is um 98 right so it means if matic should go up by 10 percent i am going to be making 98 98 dollars profit using my 20 dollars okay but it's advantage now is if you should go against me i'm going to be losing that same amount which means everything here will be liquidated so you advise to never over leverage i think uh with that and then we have um take profits and stop losses um take profits and stop losses okay um there's no contract here so probably i will just take a, a trade i will take a trade for the sake of this i don't want this to be long wow i no, no no i don't want this to be long uh is is difficult to watch um long videos not everybody have long attention span so i'm going to be using just one matic i'm buying or selling one dollar isolated so i uh, i don't know what's happening in the market so i'll be going in blind on this i'm not doing any analysis for this uh you shouldn't do this at home okay from the 15 minutes candle we are we're buying on the 15 minutes uh, candle uh is is buying on the 15 minutes candle but either way i'll still take a long uh okay so let me just take a position buy so this is the one to be sure i know what i'm doing with one x and i said yes i know what i'm doing i don't want special offer okay so the trade is on so i'm risking just one dollar i see the available balance is 19. now i want to put my trade and um, take profit or stop loss i could have done this before entering the trade i actually advise you do this before entering a trade so i'll click on set tp uh let me let me show us where i'm going to for this uh okay so i'm taking take this is showing me isolated the pair i bought the leverage this is showing me the unrealized profit and loss in percentage uh here is showing me liquidity price meaning if the if the market gets to this price 0 0.012 it's not getting there anytime soon okay so i'm going to be liquidated if it gets to this place and the liquidation is very far because my leverage is very little okay if i using a very big leverage uh you would have seen something you know that will surprise uh, you and i so the mark price is the price that the market is moving at and then the entry price the market is the price at which i bought okay at which i bought and then the position size is one all right so below position size you can see set tp and close trade so i'm going to click on set tp now this is the interesting thing about setting your take profit you can you can either uh impute when you want to take profit let's say at one or uh, no uh, no at 1.5 okay so now at 1.5 you're going to see that bybit tells you markets take profit order will be triggered at the price 1.5 which you have selected then the expected profit tells you the expected profit then the return of interest is a uh, 21 or return of investment is 21 percent 
So if the market gets to this, it shows you how much percentage you're going to make. Now below this place, I imputed my price. You can see percentage. So if I want to make just 15%, I can click on the percentage I want. Now if the percentage I want is not there, I can click on this USDT and choose percent. Okay. And then I have the leverage of picking how many percent or typing in. I can decide to say, okay. You know what? A lot of people, when they hear futures trading, they like to see 3,000%, uh, 1,000%. So, 3,000%, yeah. 3,000%, you're seeing, uh, you're making uh, the market have to reach um, a price of $38, which will be like 20, 30 something. And, uh, or it could even happen this year, you know. It could happen this year, though. So, and you are seeing, um, the expected profit should be thirty-seven dollars. Okay, same thing for stop loss. You can either type in, take percentage, or the rest. So I'm going to cancel this, and to close your trade, you see stop buy. Okay. To take your trade, you see stop buy. So if you are trading with signals, all you need to do is. When an entry is given, you come to limit, impute the entry, let's say 1.5, you impute your entry, uh, okay, yeah, I'm done, then you choose the quantity you're buying, or use this slide to choose the percentage of your account you're risking, let's say I'm risking uh, not 15%, I wouldn't do that, let's say 5% uh, of your account, I think... Uh, my what's it called my network is really um affecting affecting this okay so this is the limit i'm i'm going with and you want to buy you click a buy order okay before doing that you know um your signal provider would have given you um you know an entry a stop loss or tp Always make sure you impute it and then you take the trade and allow it to play out and manage your trade. So closing quickly, you close market or limit. You can choose a point to close. You can choose the percentage you want to leave and continue and that will be it. And uh, my network is really something else. So that's it. I just closed uh, that particular trade. So thank you. I hope you actually got value from this. So if there's any tutorial you want me to make in regard to um, trading, just do well to post it on the comment section. And uh, I will do my best to make it easy for you to understand. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do well to subscribe. And if you feel my teaching pattern is either too complicated, too fast, too slow, do where to mention it on the comment section and you can go in for a pie on matic usdt though is not a financial advice you are advised to always do your research thank you